Today I'm going to randomly generate players using a website I built to compete on NHL 24. Each round I will select one player from the three, however I will only be able to see their position. After selecting 20 players I will assemble the team on NHL 24 and simulate through a full year of franchise mode with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. Due to the fact the top 250 filter cannot be combined with all the positions selected, this is probably going to be the worst team we have made yet. Which, I mean, based on the recent simulations I've seen, that could be our best chance at winning a Stanley Cup. Goalies are going to be hard to come by, so if one pops up, we need to go after them. We've got a right winger, a defenseman, and a left winger. Let's start with the defender in the middle. And we get a Troy Stetcher. Great way to start. Next up, we have a right winger, a left winger, and another left winger. We're going with the outlier. Give me the right winger. I'm going to keep it real with you. I have no idea who that is, but you are now a part of whatever team I decide to create. This team's going to be an absolute stinker, isn't it? Let's go for the centerman. Sam Steele? Not too bad. Show me a netminder. We get... Don't give me all three. Okay. I have a feeling about the middle defenseman, so let's go for that. Yeah, that's not bad. Don't regret that at all. Welcome to the team, Giordano. A centerman, a left winger, and a defenseman. Let's go for a centerman again. And we obtain O'Brien. He's the... Was it Tuna? I think he said that's his nickname or something like that. My name's Liam O'Brien. You guys can call me Spicy Tuna. So far, we have three forwards, two defensemen... And a goaltender, we have to select them. Otherwise, I would have to put like an AHL. Actually, even an AHL goalie would be too good. That wouldn't be punishment. It would have to be like a 60 overall goalie from free agency. But it doesn't matter because we don't have to. Who is it? Okay. I believe should be mid-70s overall, if I had to guess. Mid to high. Hoping we can get another goalie. But if we are stuck with Jet, then so be it. What do we need? Two defensemen. Let's go with the left winger. Yeah, that's fine with me. We get Zach Parise. His overall is likely sub 80 now, but whatever. He can be kind of like a veteran locker room presence. Do I go for the goalie? I think I have to. I must. Okay, we're going down the middle again. And that is a relief right there. He's 85 overall, maybe 86. There was another roster update, though, and I haven't checked since. So he's probably around that range still, though. Wierenski would have been real nice, but unfortunately, we had to go with the tender. I am going to take the centerman again. Adding some youth to the team, we get Peyton Krebs. We need to get at least one or two players with abilities, and an X-Factor would be ideal. I'm going with the left winger again. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Kind of dodged a bullet on the right there. Wi-Fi would have been cool, but Perron is definitely the player that I would take if I saw the information. We don't need a goalie anymore, speaking of, so I basically completely ignore the middle, and we're sort of lacking in the defensive department right now, so let's go with the right. Let's go! That is huge. We needed that big time. We get Mo Sider. Maybe we can shape this team up to be all right. I also did see a comment that said when I build a team I should take the players off of the team I'm getting them from so for example Mo would no longer be on Detroit for this simulation and maybe I'll try that one here just to see if people like it how it goes I believe it can be achieved just by sending the players to Europe or something so yeah we'll give it a shot next up we have another goalie really they were so hard to come by and now they are popping up like it's nobody's business give me the center all right we are officially cooking this is starting to turn out not bad. I'm not going to say good, but not bad. We got Tomas Hurdle. Beautiful. If we get another goalie... And why are they always in the middle? This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Give me the left winger in the correct spot. We're going for the left side. That was not the move. I was going to say to, let's go for the left winger on their offside, and then I changed last second. I should have went with my instincts, but... Either way, we got McEachern. I make a note of the players just using notepad and the players like this that I really have no idea, I put the team abbreviation beside it and just hope it's them. Otherwise, I got to hockey DB them. There's even the chance that they could play in the AHL and have just played one or two NHL games this year. So that's rough. We're already at 13 players and we're getting another goaltender. This is actually shocking. I'm going with the D-man. I don't regret that at all. Chernak is going to be a very welcomed addition to this team. Surely we don't get another goaltender that would be yo what is happening i am going to be adding the left winger fire the boys up that 
is awesome. Jake Gensel, he might have a gold. He actually, I think he does. Unless I did my quick maths wrong, we only need five more players and we still need two more defensemen, but also there's a center in the right spot. Middle card. Oh, that is a shame. Pelic would have been so nice. Novak's a good player, but Pelic would have been awesome. I do feel like defense are a little bit... Can you imagine if we end up playing a forward on defense after all that? I'm gonna cry. Nobody's in their right spots. We got a center on the right side, a right winger on the left side, and a left wing playing in the middle. Going right winger. Why did I not go for the centerman? Why? Someone tell me, please. I'm begging you. Nino's a good player, sure. But Braden Point. Need I say more? If there's any defensemen, I'm taking them. Don't you dare, don't you dare. Okay, so over the next two rounds, we need two defensemen. We're probably going to be playing a forward at defense. Give me the... Give me the center. It was going well for a minute there. It really was. And it's not anymore. It's not. But who knows? Maybe this is the sim that's going to work. We get a defenseman. Obviously, I'm going with them. OEL, if I'm not mistaken, he is left. And Mo is right, so they could be paired together. Or Chernak is probably also like mid 80s, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Please give me a defenseman. Please give me a defenseman. Yes! Oh, we get two. Oh, no, actually. Why'd you give me an option? I didn't ask for an option. I just asked for a defenseman. I still appreciate you, though. My first instinct was to go with the right one, so I'm just sticking to it. Don't even have a good guess for what his overall is. McCabe would have been cool. Vlasic is probably a youthful player, adding some youth to the team. We got some veterans in there to coach them along the way. The good news is we don't have to fill in any positions because we have everything perfectly. I mean, we have 12 forwards. I don't know about the wing center situation, but we'll make it work. With that being said, let's head over to NHL 24 and build this team. We are here, we are live. The divisions are all out of sorts, but doesn't really matter. In fact, it's kind of more fun this way. And the reason for that is we have added one team to this league, and that is the 84 overall Wheeling Warriors. But you know what? We're almost the same overall as the Ducks. I've seen them go far sometimes, maybe. What I ended up doing was sending any player that was like 80 overall or above to international, and that way they won't be in the NHL, so ours will be the only of that player. Detroit kind of got finesse. They lost Perron, they lost Mo. Hate to see it. Uh-oh, look who it is. A familiar face, jabroni. No, you will not be editing my lines. I'm gonna say we get draft pick number... Just kidding, not that kind of video. Jake and Bake, our best player. Will we have any chemistry? We're gonna find out right here, right now. Edit lines, show me the money. Give me the green. It's not red at least. Novak was actually a much higher overall than I was expecting, so I'm pretty gassed about that. Our goal is to get more than 35 wins. If we do that, I consider it a dub. How hard can Jake Gensel carry the Wheeling Warriors? <laughs> Let's find out. The defensive chemistry is an absolute disaster, so we gotta do something here. What if I move Geo down? Oh! All right, I don't care. Yep, Chernak, you're on the final pair. I'm not dealing with this bad chemistry. We have roll all pairings anyway. They'll figure it out. In net, we have Philip Gustafson, Gus Bus, backed up by... They did Jack Reeves dirty here, by the way. I looked him up on Hockey DB. He was doing real good in the AHL, at least from what I saw. So obviously I'm going to say Jake Gensel gets the most points. I'll say he gets 78. And yeah, I think this team's going to get like 32 wins, but hopefully we get more. I suppose it is time to simulate. 3-1-L to the Winnipeg Jets who no longer have Nino Niederreiter. This is going to be a long season, fellas. Why do we play the Jets so many times? We already played them thrice. Remember at the start of the video when I said this is probably going to be the worst team we've ever assembled? Read them and weep. Okay, but why did they kind of cook there for a minute? Why are we actually doing okay all of a sudden? Do we just have to get some of the locker room jitters out? How about we just don't finish last in the league? I don't think that's too much to ask for. I would go as far as to say that's quite reasonable. And as a stretch goal, how about we don't finish last in the division? That one could be tough. I'll go in just to see who's available, but it wasn't a fantasy draft, so it's just gonna be your typical players here, I would imagine. Holy smokes, Jeremy Swayman. And Patrick Kane, Mackenzie Wieger, Bobrovsky? I cannot trade. 
But it would have been nice to try and go- I, we don't even have assets, what am I saying? We should get more than 35 wins unless we don't win another game for the rest of the year. That could happen as well. Big win over the Golden Knights, we lose to the Flyers. Another win in overtime, we beat down the Sharks, come on! We finally got the better of the Jets! We're at 34 wins. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! This is unreal! Really, McPherson, you're gonna get canned right now? There's one game left and you're just gonna get fired? The Tampa Bay Lightning couldn't have waited like 48 more hours? Overtime loss to the Penguins. You know what? That ended up being way better than I thought it was going to. To start the season, we were like 2-27. and 27. It was a Hail Mary and somehow we brought it back and had... More wins than regulation losses. We were one spot out of the playoffs. I'm saying that very loosely because we were nine points behind the wild, but it sounds good on paper. The Toronto Maple Leafs dominating the NHL this year. 127 points. They were 20 up on the St. Louis Blues. They nearly had a 60 win season. It would be the top 16 teams to make it. Things you love to see that. Where are we? Wait, did I fly past us already or are we way down here? Oh, we finished 19th in the league. That's not bad at all. Look how close we were. Kinda. Jake and Bake was a zero, which for this team isn't bad. Look at Novak down there. A minus 20, minus 34 for Geo. 86 points is very good. Thank you for attempting to carry the squad. Hurdle had 68, which is decent, I suppose. 56 for Perron. You know, would have liked a little bit more out of you. Our goalies actually did all right, you know. And look at Jet. Great stats. Especially considering he was, what, 73 overall? What a mad lad. Gus with a 908, 319, two shutouts. Can't blame him. 44 points for Mo, 35 for Gio, and 33 for OEL. Giordano and Stetcher had a rough go. I probably should have moved Eric up at some point, but you know, it is what it is. Samson of far and away had the most wins. Freddie was second. That's kind of funny. Freddie had a 920, 917 for Sammy, 249, 251. They're pretty similar. Six shutouts. Philly Huso, what a year for him. Wait, so you're telling me that we took Moritz and Perron off the Detroit Red Wings and they had one of their better seasons. That's wild. Speaking of wild, how about having 30 more points than the next defenseman? Kale McCarr continues to be an absolute sicko. This happened in a recent video as well, except I feel like it was 53 split. But either way, he goes half and half, 54 goals, 54 assists for a total of 108 points. Probably getting the art in the heart. Probably getting the rocket Richard. Yup. So he will once again be cleaning up at the awards ceremony. This isn't a fantasy draft, so I don't need to go look at the rosters. We'll just sim and see who wins the cup in this one. I also just saw that Arizona is in the playoffs. Why couldn't that be us? Why couldn't it be us? It would be the Colorado Avalanche going on to win the ultimate prize. The Coachella Valley Firebirds get the Calder. As expected, Matthews gets both of them. Kale Maker gets the Josh Norris trophy. Lady Bing goes to ADB and Cooley gets the Calder. It is always interesting to see someone that isn't Bedsy win it. Consumite goes to Rantanen. Kind of forgot to look at playoff stats. So we'll go do that real quick after this. Freddy got the Vesna and the Jennings goes to Ilya Samsonov. Marty the One Man Party awarded the Masterton. Oh. Sokis gets the Jack Adams. That was a genuine effort. Copistar is dealt the Selkie and Matthews Matthews. Surprise, surprise. Taking a quick peek at the goalie tenders. Georgiev did very good. 914, 270. Allmark didn't have the best stats in the world. Aiden Hill did very well. Corpy Solo was cooking until his team got put out. He was a stud in the season. Might as well carry it into the playoffs. 21 points in 25 games played for Kale. Charlie McAvoy and... Uh, whoa! 17 points in 12 games? Your Con Smythe winner right there. Ranton in plus 17, 28 points. Pasta also at 28 points. Did it in less games, but he was a minus six. There be the tree of the playoff variety. Colorado Avalanche beat the Boston Bruins in seven. That would have been great and way better than the Stanley Cup final week got. I'm assuming it's going to be over by the time this comes out. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a like and subscribe, that would be heat. If you have a draft idea or an idea for something that I could do with the website, which by the way, link down below. A lot of people still ask that. You could even compile a roster using the website. You don't even have to put it in the game. Just look at the team and you know, that's it. On that note, JDs and Lettleman, I will see you soon.